Hello, in this video we're going to be creating isometric shape number 8 uh, using Autodesk Inventor. Uh, again, we'll use a subtracted technique. So first we'll make a rectangular prism and then from there we'll use a, different, a couple of tools to help us uh, subtract to this overall shape we have. So first we want to figure out our overall dimensions. If we count down, it's going to be a length of 8. If we look at the height of this object, it's going to be a height of 6. And then if we go to the depth, it's going to be 5. So we're going to do 8 by 6 and then extrude it 5. Right, so to do that, we're going to start a 2D sketch on the XY plane. I'm going to start with a rectangle on my origin. And I'm going to make it go over 8, hit tab, and then a height of 6, and then enter. Uh, then we're going to finish the sketch and extrude it out. Again, we want to extrude out a depth of 5, so I type in 5 and then enter. And that gives me my basic outline shape I need to do some uh, editing to. Again, you could sketch a triangle on the side to do this cutout here on the side. I'm not going to do that in this case, but you could just as easily do it that way. Instead, I'm going to use this shafer tool. Uh, I'm going to click on this front edge. At this time, they're not equal length, so I'm going to have to use this two distances. So I'm going to make the first distance 5. Well, in this case, it looks like it's pointing down, so I'll make the first distance equal to, if we count, if we look back how far down, it's 6 total. So if I have 2 left, it's going to go down by 4. So I type in 4, hit tab, and then I need to go in by a distance. If we look, it's the, all the way across, so a distance of 5. So I'm going to make that one 5, and then hit OK. And that gives me a basic cutout. Now I need to do the same tool on this front corner. Uh, if we go back and look at our object, you can see it comes in 1, 2, 3, and it goes back by that same 1, 2, 3. Uh, so I'm going to use that same tool. This time I'm coming on the front corner, and I want them both to be the same distance. So I can go to the top option, and I can change my distance to 3. So I set that as 3. I click the corner, and it does our cutout like we see in our image. Uh, so this gives us our isometric for shape number eight so isometric shape eight hopefully this helps in your creation of isometric eight good luck